What's going on everybody? Today we're doing a Cabalion raid and we're going to be taking on some Team Go Rocket grunts. I'm here at UNLV's campus. That's University of Las Vegas. Pretty cool. Hanging out with some new friends here. We got four people. How are you guys doing? Say hi. Hello. Hi. Wonderful. Hi. So hopefully the four of us can quadruple this Cabalion. I've done a quadruple on a Cabalion before. We've all got fire types. Moltres, Flareon, Heatran. The best counter is going to be Chandelure. Next up is your maxed out Moltres and then Blazekin with Blast Burn. And then after that, if you don't have any of those fire types, you could just use a team of all the champs. So lots of good types going in here. Let's see if we can quadruple this. 245 seconds left. Let's see what happens. Cool. Awesome. Only 30 seconds left. Wow, we cut it close, but you know what? <laughs> we did it. And by the way, so what, what level are you? 40. 40? What level are you? 32. 32 in your level? Almost 39. Almost 39. So let's see who gets the highest CP. I think it's 1727 is the perfect. 1668. 1668. Okay, so all of ours are just okay, but hopefully everybody catches it because this is both of their Pokedex entry. So this is super cool. Let's see if I get it. Well, everyone, that Cobalion got away from me. I ended up having a nice conversation with all of those guys over there. Super sweet. It was really nice to meet all of you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel if you're here from that encounter. But uh, so I'm right in front of a Team Go Rocket Grunt. Shout out to Pogo King at the top of my screen. And I noticed that I did not receive the brand new special research called Looming in the Shadows, which is all about finding Giovanni and the Team Go Rocket leaders. So if you're like me and you didn't receive that new special research, why? It's because you still have to finish a troubling situation, which I did not finish. So you can see I'm on step two out of four right here. I'm going to do a video where I finish all of these special researchers that I haven't finished yet, including a spooky message, thousand years, all these, all these. I'm going to finish them all in another video. I'm sorry if this is driving anybody with OCD insane, but a troubling situation. Here we go. Let's claim this reward. I'm not even sure what it is. It's an Ekans. Wow, that could have been shiny. Let's catch him. Really quickly, I'm gonna put on a star piece because I'm planning on battling a lot of Team Go Rocket grunts. And don't forget that every Team Go Rocket grunt battle that you complete, you'll get Stardust. So I might as well put on a star piece. And especially because I'm gonna claim this reward, which is 2000 Stardust, some XP, and some Golden Raspberry. So I'm gonna collect that Stardust right there. Let's move on to the next step. I'm sorry, Professor Willow, you know I love you, but I'm gonna skip what you're talking about because when I get to the next page, I will know that all I need to do is purify three Shadow Pokemon and I need to at least purify a fire, water, or grass type shadow Pokemon. I've got plenty of shadow Pokemon in my inventory. All I need to do to find all my shadow Pokemon is go to the Pokemon. Then in the top right hand corner where the search feature is, type in shadow and then all of your shadow Pokemon appear. I've got tons of shadow Pokemon saved up. Why don't we grab this Cacnea? Um, that's 3000 Stardust, whatever, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and purify it because I said in the special research, I need to purify a grass type, right? So there we go. Next up, we've got Growlithe. Let's purify that one for 3,000 Stardust. I just recently passed 5 million Stardust, so I'm not really hurting on Stardust. I think it's totally worth it to just get this research over with. And then my final out of the three will be this Abra for 3,000 Stardust. You can see I just completed purified three Shadow Pokemon, so let's claim the rewards. And this is why I'm glad that I put a star piece on. See that? Claim reward, 3,000 more Stardust. And XP, honestly, XP is dead. I'm not putting on a lucky egg, sorry. But you know what? We're gonna claim this reward, get 2,000 more Stardust, one rare candy and a silver pineapple berry, and then we'll finally move on to step four of a troubling situation, which hooray for me. Once again, so happy that I put on a star piece. 1,000 Stardust right there, another 1,000 Stardust, 1,000 XP, XP is dead. And we get a fast TM, a charged TM, and three rare candy. That concludes everything for a troubling situation, which means I should be able to move on to Looming in the Shadows. Let's see if it shows up. And there it is. Looming in the Shadows appeared immediately after I completed a troubling situation. So step one is spin 10 Pokestops, defeat three Team Go Rocket Grunts, and catch one Shadow Pokemon. Well, you know what? Sitting right next to me is a first Team Go Rocket Grunt at the Campus Copy Center. Like I said, I'm on UNLV's campus right now. Spin one Pokestop, hit the X, and then here, let's see what kind of Pokemon she has. She says, we're going to steal all the items. I'm sure you are. And what type of Pokemon are you using? Coiled and ready to strike. So that's like poison type. So for me, I think I'm going to go with Tyranitar's with Bite Crunch. Her first Pokemon is going to be a Venonat. So like I said, kind of poisonous. Tyranitar is just going to crunch all the way through this guy, no problem. Her second Pokemon is a Grimer, another poisonous type. We're just going to knock through it with this crunch really quickly. And her third Pokemon is a Muck. So 
This is gonna be no problem. Like I said, Bike Crunch Tyranitars are incredible for most Team Go Rocket teams, no matter what they have, honestly. So just really quickly gonna crunch this guy out and defeat this Team Go Rocket Grunt. So I've defeated one Team Go Rocket Grunt. Let's see what kind of shadow Pokemon I get. Oh, we got my first mysterious component. Oh my gosh. And like I said, it's so good that I had that star piece on because I got 750 Stardust. So let's see what the Pokemon is. It's going to be a Venonat. Actually my first Shadow Venonat. So that's kind of cool. I'm trying to actually complete the Shadow Pokedex. And we caught Venonat, which means I need to go find another Team Go Rocket Grunt and let's spin some Pokestops on the way. Let's go. Oh, before we go, Candela showed up. She says that Grunt dropped something while they were running scared. What are they using these for? I bet this is what Team Go Rocket is using to hack the Pokestops. We have to find more. Time to battle some grunts. So I found a mysterious component. Looks like it's part of a larger device. Let's go find five more to complete out of the six. Collected. Awesome. I see a Go Rocket stop over there. Let's go get them. All right, we made it over to the second Team Go Rocket Pokestop. Let's see what kind of Pokemon she has. She's got... And I spun another Pokestop, perfect for my research. She's got, these waters are treacherous. I love that saying, these waters are treacherous. So I'm just gonna use grass types. Let's try it out. I'm gonna send out a Frenzy Plant Venusaur and she's got a cute little Mudkip. Oh my gosh, this Venusaur is gonna destroy her Mudkip. Her second Pokemon is a Golduck. This Frenzy Plant is gonna do major damage. Probably gonna take it out in one hit. And her final Pokemon is a Politoed. Super cute. Once again, Frenzy Plant is gonna take out Politoed. No problem. Watch this. Okay, that counts as a defeat for number two. And let's see what else we get. I won. My star piece should still be on, so I got 750 Stardust. Got a second mysterious component. And we are going up in the ranks for my badge. Sweet. Let's see what shadow Pokemon we get. And it is a cute little shadow Mudkip. It's adorable. Let's capture this guy and find a third Team Go Rocket Grunt. On my nearby, if you look down there, is a Chansey. And it's right at this Pokestop right here. So I'm trying to track it down. Let's see if I can find this Chansey. Oh my gosh, there she is. That's so cool, a wild Chansey. And it's clear weather. It's not even like boosting normal types. Let's grab it up. Oh gosh, I gotta spin the Pokestop. Okay, my bag is full. Ah! Let's grab this Chansey. Oh, that's so cool. I haven't seen a wild Chansey in so long. Only CP49, that is adorable. We're gonna, uh, actually, I want to uh, Silver Pine up bury it because I want to get more candies. You can always use more Chansey candies every time. Free shakes, I got it. Oh my gosh, let's see what it appraises to be. I love finding like crazy awesome stuff in the wild like a Chansey, that's just so awesome. Okay, let's appraise it and see how good it is. Ah, it's kind of terrible, but you know what? I would trade this with somebody to see if it got lucky or whatever. Anyway, that's just kind of like a cool little detour. I see that third Team Go Rocket Pokestop right over there. Let's go. Get ready to be defeated. So this one's super generic. It's probably like a Snorlax, maybe. So I'm just gonna crunch through it with, oh, my bag is full? I don't want that. Let me dump out some of my bag. So since I don't know what he's got, I'm just gonna go in with Tyranitars. And I did dump out my bag because I wanted to make sure that I can collect all my rewards. I wanna make sure that I can collect a mysterious component after he drops it at the end of the battle. So always make sure you have room in your bag before you battle these Team Go Rocket grunts, especially if you're trying to get the Team Go Rocket radar. So I'm gonna just crunch through all these guys. Let's see what he's got second. Ivysaur, cute. Let's crunch through this. And the third Pokemon is a Venusaur. Okay, let's crunch through this guy and see what shadow Pokemon we get at the end. Okay, we've defeated three Team Go Rocket Grunts. Awesome. Let's collect our rewards. We should have a 750 Stardust because the star piece is still on. Yes, love Stardust. We got the next mysterious component. That's three mysterious components. And we can boost up our metal. Let's see what shadow Pokemon we get. Charmander! So cute! Okay, let's capture this guy. Sick, so we caught Charmander, that's awesome. Let's check on our research now. Might as well spin this Pokestop. Like I said, that was my third mysterious component. Flame, we got XP right here. Like I said, XP is dead. I'm not gonna put a lucky egg on, so sorry. But there we go. Thankfully, my star piece is still on, so I'm gonna claim this reward. Uh, let's see, we got Stardust, we got some Pokeballs, and we got 10 Raspberries. Sweet, let's check on step two. Step two is spin a Pokestop five days in a row, purify 15 Shadow Pokemon, and win five raids. So we have a Pokestop right here, let's go ahead and spin this one. So that'll be the first one out of the five days. So this is actually gonna take us a while, you guys. It's gonna be five days of spinning, spinning a Pokestop. Uh, purifying 15 Shadow Pokemon, you guys just saw my Shadow Collection. I've got a ton of Pokemon to purify, I'm not worried about that. And then the final step is win five raids. You could just do five level one raids right now. So I'm gonna go look for some level one raid bosses. 
Um, but other than that, I can't really speed it up anyway because I have to wait those other four days to spend a Pokestop. So I'm not super in a rush right now. But there is a cool event going on right now that I did want to tell you guys about. Let me tell you about what's happening. So this new event, it started November 7th and it ends on November 14th. It's one week long and in the wild you're going to find Ekans, Meowth, and Coughing appearing more frequently and all three of them can be shiny. Team Go Rocket themed Pokemon are going to be in raids and there's new shadow Pokemon, Sandshrew, Bellsprout, Magnemite, Porygon, and Wobbuffet. And now with the introduction of the new Team Go Rocket bosses, Arlo, Cliff, and Sierra, you can now get shiny Pokemon from battling them. Cliff has Meowth, Arlo has Scyther, and Sierra has Sneasel. And like I said, all three can be shiny when you find them. And in the wild, Meowth can now be shiny. And also, when you defeat Cliff, you could get a shiny Meowth from defeating Cliff. So check that out. Meowth has pink ears on the inside and pink feet and Persian has pink ears on the inside as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.